right, y'all, I'm back with another easy one. Orzo pasta. That's what we have. It looks like rice, but it's not rice. It's orzo pasta. And um, I'm going to just add some chicken breast to that, some uh, cut up chicken breast. Oh, wow. And I thought I had with me over here. Just got to get it out the fridge there. All right, folks, we're about to get started. I got my chicken already ready. We're going to get started. I'm going to hold myself up because I'm ready to eat too. And what not and what have you. All right, let's put that chicken in there. All right, I'm going to go on with some paprika. You can use your own seasonings, folks. This is just what I'm choosing to use. Got some paprika there. Uh, there. I got me some uh, Weber's... Um, Roasted garlic and herb. Got me a little bit of uh, Maggie Pollo, that chicken um, flavor. All right. Throw a little bit of uh, parsley in there. Put it down. Put it on there later. All right, let's get this uh, cooked up, folks. So what you want to do is just get it all cooked up, and we'll be back. Not done yet. Just showing y'all some uh, updated process. I decided I was going to go in with some smoked paprika as well. Different type of flavor. Not much, just a little optional. All right, now I'm going to go on with some green onions and some uh, sweet peppers, red and yellow, as well as orange sweet peppers. We're going to incorporate that in like so. We're not going to let that cook crazy before we go to the next. Matter of fact, this we can go to the we got now we got fine in there without that's like all that extra seasoning at the bottom. And, uh oh wow, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so now we about to go in. With some creamer, heavy creamer, heavy whipping cream, and then a cup of uh, orzo pasta. Yeah, that's enough. Just that one cup. And now I'm about to go in with some chicken broth. We're going to let this simmer for 15 minutes. Cover it up. Now I'm about to add uh, some crushed red pepper, which is optional. I really like me and my daughter like our crushed red pepper. We like our spices. That ain't enough for me. No. It's optional. We like our spices. I'll probably end up adding some more later. At the end, after I taste it, that probably ain't enough for me and her. That, that crushed red pepper. Oh my goodness, it's looking good already. All right. One more thing. I'm going to uh, come right back. All right, I forgot some uh, tomato paste. You can use tomato paste. Tomato sauce is up to you. I'm going to go in with the whole can. It's not a big can. All right, Hannah, I hear you in there. I'm going to get you. You're going to be finding yourself outside with the rest of them cats. Jumping all over my furniture all crazy. All right, folks, let me stir this in. I think I hear her jumping around. All right. All right, so I'm going to mix this in. All right, now I want to add some spinach to this now, y'all. Some fresh, fresh spinach. You can put as much spinach as you like, or you can use kale. Green vegetables. 
so we're just going to mix that in. Mix that on in, folks. Just mix it on in. And then you're going to let it simmer some more. And then we'll be back in about five minutes. Maybe five minutes. Five or ten minutes, give or take. All right, I'm going to cover this back up, too. Let him know business. All right, this is the last thing I'm going to add to this. It's some uh, shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to put that over the top. I'm just going to spread that across the top. Don't have to be a whole lot, just a little bit on top. Then we're going to put our lid on and let that melt. It'll probably take about five minutes. All right, let's get it plated up. Orzo pasta and chicken. Let's dig in. Parmesan cheese. Mm, and the fiesta blend. This is delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. This is the winner here. I'm sick, folks, for the day. Go love on somebody. Go be a blessing. Remember, it's always better to be a blessing than to receive a blessing. Till next time, folks, shalom and peace out.